into our continuing reporting on Syria. Disturbing images coming in from Aleppo all day today. Reports of a possible ceasefire back in place. But this one, after the one just last night, fell apart. Followed by images like this one. Heavy shelling blocking thousands of families from evacuating the city. And in Paris at this hour, the Eiffel Tower dark for the people of Aleppo. ABC's Alex Marquardt tonight, who just left Syria. The deal didn't even get off the ground before it died. Heavy bombardment resuming today in eastern Aleppo, dashing hopes that desperate civilians would be bused to safety and the remaining rebel fighters taken out of the city. The fighting so intense, aid workers had to cross back into government-controlled Aleppo for safety. It's just constant explosions in the air, and then all of a sudden, it's a full-blown battle once again. The rebels still hold a tiny sliver of territory in this pivotal battle for Syria's biggest city. Tens of thousands of civilians have escaped the fighting, while thousands more, many of them anti-regime, are believed to be inside and too afraid to flee. Along with doctors and activists, they've been sending frantic messages calling for help. For my activity, and uh, I will be executed or tortured until death. There are hopes that this ceasefire can get back on track, maybe even as soon as tonight. But as we've seen, everything is so fragile, so complex, because of all the different actors on the ground.